Yeah, we want to say that she's okay. And I'm thinking even in my wild and crazy days, or your wild and crazy days, Charlie, would you ever even try something like that? Never. Where you could possibly be hurt. I think we'll pass. We will pass. We want to tell you about a quick-thinking seventh grader. This is a very cool story. In the small town of Milton, Washington, south of Seattle is where it's located, Bill Whitaker reports the 13-year-old was on the middle school bus yesterday when he and a classmate saved the day. You can see from the surveillance video, it was a normal bus ride for these Washington State middle schoolers. Faces have been blurred for privacy reasons. Suddenly, the driver slumps back in his seat, releases the wheel. Seventh grader Jeremy Witchick was a few rows back. And the bus driver is acting all funny. He's shaking, his, yeah, his arms are flailing, his eyes are bulging, and he's making these weird rasping noises with his mouth. The hospital won't confirm, but reportedly the driver had suffered a heart attack. The bus was careening out of control, heading straight for a church. Jeremy says he acted on instinct. So I, I take action. I grab the wheel, turn it right, give it to the right side of the road. I take the keys out of the ignition. The engine starts shutting off, starts slowing down. Seventh grader Johnny Wood leapt into action too. He had studied CPR. I ran up and tried doing chest compressions. But his eyes were rolling back, and it was, I could tell it was getting harder for him to breathe. As the bus slowed and stopped, other students called 911. I'm just thinking, I just want to, I just want to stop the truck, because I don't want to crash, and I don't want to know what it feels like. So yeah, just, I just, I just don't want to die. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad thing. Jeremy says he remembered a superhero book he'd read, in which a man stopped a runaway bus by turning off the ignition. Oh my God! Everyone got off the bus alive. It was scary and exhilarating. I mean, you want to know if he's okay, but then again, it's just happening so fast, your heart's pumping. It's breathtaking and breath-giving. Yesterday morning, they probably called themselves two normal seventh grade boys. This morning, they're being called heroes. For CBS This Morning, I'm Bill Whitaker in Los Angeles. This is extraordinary. I think so, too, Charlie. At first, when he said it's exhilarating, I was wondering, does he know what it means? And then clearly he said it's breathtaking and breathgiving. And then the kid talking about what he did, and you see him run up there, which yes. is amazing. I mean, this was quick thinking and instinctively going to where the emergency was. For a little boy. And then the other one comes up and says, well, let's help him do some CPR here. Yes, and dying, it's a bad thing. And I like that. That's, that's the best line. Yeah.